Before we talk about how kidney stones are formed, first, take a moment to get oriented to the urinary tract. The urinary tract includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Now, let's enlarge a kidney to get a closer view. Here's a cut section of the kidney. Urine flows from the outer cortex to the inner medulla. The renal pelvis is the funnel through which urine exits the kidney and enters the ureter. As urine passes through the kidneys, it can become very concentrated. When the urine becomes too concentrated, calcium, uric acid salts, and other chemicals dissolved in the urine can crystallize, forming a kidney stone or renal calculus. Usually, the calculus is the size of a small pebble, but ureters are very sensitive to being stretched, and when stones form and distend it, the stretching can be very painful. Often, people may not know they have kidney stones until they feel the painful symptoms resulting from a stone being stuck anywhere along the urinary tract. Fortunately, small stones typically pass out of the kidneys and through the ureters on their own without causing any problems. However, stones can become more problematic when they block the flow of urine, as seen in the example here. Doctors call this one a staghorn kidney stone, and it is obstructing the entire kidney. Fortunately, these stones are the exception rather than the rule. I knew immediately that something was wrong because I was in severe pain. The pain of recurrent kidney stones kept developer Jeff Kahn away from the job site. I hated to be away. But there was no way Jeff could work through that agony. The pain of kidney stones is legendary. Mayo Clinic nephrologist Dr. William Haley and urologist Dr. Michael Whaley want to stop the pain of kidney stones for people like Jeff. How? By teaching people how to prevent them. And we can be successful over 90% of the time of preventing that next stone. You see, kidney stones occur when certain substances in your urine increase in concentration and begin to crystallize. The stones can move into the opening of the kidney or ureter and cause blockages. This causes pain and could also cause infection or loss of kidney function. There are unique uh, reasons that are distinct to each patient why they're making kidney stones. For instance, maybe it's certain foods you eat, or maybe you don't drink enough water. Blood and urine samples analyzed in the lab can help pinpoint the culprits. Then we can put into motion dietary changes, on occasional uh, medicines, change in uh, the amount of fluid they drink. Jeff made some dietary changes. All types of cola products are no longer allowed. Uh, I can't eat spinach. And since those preventive measures, Jeff has not had one single kidney stone. Kidney stones are often hereditary, but as Jeff found out, you can prevent them.